You can be a fantastic designer. And it doesn't require much, only a bit of plastic from a shirt box, even plastic bag will do, and the sort of felt pen that has a nice fine tip, a pair of compasses, a ruler, and some paper. That's all you need. Let me show you why. Let's get rid of most of this and uh, start with the ruler, the felt pen, and the plastic. Go carefully and rule yourself a whole lot of parallel lines. The closer together the better, but make them as regular as you can. Parallel and close together. It takes a while, but if you take some care, you'll end up with something that looks rather like this. And you can either rule another bit of plastic like that, or produce the same sort of rulings on a piece of paper. And a photocopy, I might say, is a quick way to do it. Put one over the other and move it a bit. And lo and behold, you've generated a whole lot of new patterns, like that. Well, those are parallel straight lines. Let's try parallel circular ones. Again, get your plastic up there. Get the sort of felt pen that'll fit inside a pair of compasses. It's about as thin as a pencil. And open your compasses and draw a circle. Again, close them up or open them, but keep those lines regularly spaced and as close together as you can. You get a whole lot of concentric circles and when you place those over themselves and move them, you get a whole lot of interesting new patterns. Like that. And of course, you're not only limited to those. You can get a bit of cardboard, for example, and by placing your acetate there or your plastic there, position the piece of cardboard, rule along its edge, again, as regular and as close as you can get them, and you'll find very interesting patterns generated by that and its double. Here we go, under there. Turn it around, and you find new patterns all the way around. Well, what are these new patterns that you're inventing? In fact, you didn't invent them. They are described as moiré patterns. They've been known for hundreds of years. Moiré is the French word for watered, and they're first seen in watered silk. You may have noticed if you put one piece of silk over another, if you ever get your hands on it, you see these patterns. Flywire is very good. In fact, anything which is a regular repeated pattern over another regular repeated pattern will give you moiré patterns. In fact, even on your own television screen, if I put that horizontally, because you've got horizontal lines in your television screen, you can see just faint moiré patterns in your own television set there. You may have noticed it when people wear the wrong sort of clothes on television. You get moiré patterns all over their suits. Well, what use are they? Scientists use them, in fact, for analysing the weather and lenses and all sorts of things. But hundreds of years ago, before the advent of uh, moving pictures as we know them, they were used for magic moving picture books. Have a look at this. Open it up, there's a picture of a traction engine. Watch carefully and suddenly the wheels start to move. And the smoke billows out of the smokestack and everything is uh, trundling along at great speed. Well, what happened there was that the book came to you with a grid. And it was ruled up very finely with lines. And there you can see them on there. And the diagram itself had very fine lines, very cunningly spaced. So when you put one over the other and moved it, you got moving moiré patterns. And that made the whole picture look as if it was moving. And the book was full of these. Well, you won't be able to rule yours as finely as that, although you can have a go. But even if you can't, with things as finely ruled as that, and a mixture of patterns, not always the same one over itself, you'll be able to generate very interesting moires indeed. And in fact, each one of them will be a new pattern.